People who have not seen life otherwise than being beautiful take it for granted. I, I do appreciate life. I do appreciate every day. I wake up in the morning and I look at the sky, I look at the trees and I say, wow, what a beautiful day. I was raised in Lebanon during the Civil War. I remember living in basements sometimes for days in a row and waiting for Red Cross to deliver bread to us in the morning at 5 a.m. because we're so hungry and we don't have any food. That probably made me who I am now. So when I came to the United States and when I saw the opportunity, when I saw how safe it is, you can just go on the street, you can go to the library, to the bookstore, you can watch TV, life was something new to me. So you start with eight. Oh. I have three children. By the way, I learn a lot from my kids. It's a two-way learning. I teach them, but I learn from them as much as I teach them. For two years now, I've been exercising nonstop, every day, at least, at least 30 minutes. If I can do more on weekends, sometimes I go for hours. My kids sometimes join me at the gym, or in my run, or in my walk. They like to come, and I think they do come only to motivate me. They don't need that extra 10, 15 minutes at the gym, but they see that when I see them walking into the gym, I'm running harder. You hear people saying, do not mix work with your life. They're two separate things. I don't agree with that. Because if you do not think about your work as part of your life, why are you at this work? You have option, you can pick the work that you want to do. And it should be related to what you would like to be or do in your life. When I come home, I'm a mother and I'm taking care of my kids, my family. But I choose the work that's most related to my life to make me happy. So I am a part of the combustion research facility at Sandia uh, Livermore. It's one of the national, maybe international, leading facility in combustion research. What I love about Sandia Labs is the broad of research that we do. Any area in science or technology that you could think of, you will find an expert, you will find a lab, you will find someone leading that research at Sandia. I remember as, as a kid, I used to love go to the mechanic shop. So sometimes my car, uh, would not need any repair, but I would pretend I need to go to the mechanic to go spend some time at the car shop and watch him changing the oil or working on the car. When I first walked into a lab at the combustion research facility, that's how I felt. My, my heart felt like, oh, I can be a technologist in this lab. I can be a custodian just here around here and be happy. My name is Iman Khalil. I'm a proud U.S. citizen who immigrated from Lebanon. I'm a proud mother. I'm a mechanical engineer. I love science. I'm a Sandian.